Little bit of a drizzly day, just leaving High Cross car park, heading into Grisdale Forest. Coniston down to my right, hidden under the uh, bit of the shroud of the mist and low cloud, etc. Might get a view of it when we get a bit further up here. Let's see if we can show anything now. Uh, Coniston's actually over there. Still not in a good position. Probably not going to see much today anyway with all the, uh, the low cloud mist. I tell you in Grisdale when you start seeing these things I presume there must be a map with them on somewhere that I don't know about yet but guiding you around the various walks and, uh, and cycle routes I think I've probably been down this one before, coming the other way. Loose and just starting to spin up a little. Lovely wet lakeland trails. Right, bringing me on to one of the main fire roads. Still basically heading for the bridle ways that go along the the, uh, the top, taking me towards Parker Miller. Then don't know, I might go down Parker Miller. We'll see how I feel later on. Whether I turn and go down one that brings me back to like Lane Head or the back of Brantwood. So just on the final bits of the bridleways up towards where I come to the gate to get back into the open to head towards Parker Miller. It's only a mile and a half to Parker Miller. And I will look. We'll see. Might do Parker Miller, might not. Probably not today. Colours are starting to change now, the bracken's going which is excellent. The bracken's bloody awful. Look out, bus three. Couldn't see Coniston at all down in the bottom, so turning round, coming the easy way back, having a nice look at the ride down here. Nice bridle way, but slippy, so going to be a little bit cautious. 
after throwing myself off on Cuckoo Grout. Lovely out here, the peace and solitude, absolutely cracking getting out. Just to be able to get this from your doorstep, absolutely fantastic. Hoping that I've got the camera angle set relatively good for this, rather than just looking down at the floor. Problem is, you start to descend, you want to get went further over, actually making it worse for uh, the view for watching anything. It's a little bit of an uphill. Slowly getting to know where I'm going on these places, so it makes it slightly easier. Not having to stop as much while uh, getting my bearings so that I can continue. I'll not do so much in here today, I don't think. I think I'll probably just uh, vacate the way I came in. See how I go. Oh, one coming up. Get out of his way. Morning. Hey. Morning. <laughs> no view over Coniston off Park and Rua today. Hey. No view over Coniston oh. from the usual viewpoints. It's crap. Uh, I couldn't see anything. I heard him start up before, but uh. as I've, I've come from Windermere, gone up and doubling back. I'm not bothering. Uh. It's just blowing straight up over the top and I couldn't see anything. Just see one boat in this side and that was it. So, anyway. Look, from a, from an Ulverston, it was just like, it seemed like it was low cloud. Yeah. Then a break and then yeah. stuff higher, but hey, well. It might clear. Hopefully it's going to clear. <laughs> yeah, see you later. general nice people that you're meeting on these trails at the moment. Somebody else wanting to watch the, uh, the boats on the records week, it sounds it. Going just nicely, very fine. Back past the mushroom that I passed when I entered the Drysdale. Final little bit back down to the car park. Feel it, you can see the drizzle just dripping off the front, <laughs> top of the helmet.
a little bit of the run down towards Borick Lodge. Just a little bit of the road now. Still flying up towards Town House. Never a good spot to be uh, pushing down here. Especially if you end up getting pushed into the side of the road where all the lanes are. You can see this is the Lovely area around here. 